is 846 on a Tuesday. Listen to this. She went from fitness model to vegan cookie master. That's what I have here. Whipping up sweet creations. We've got white chocolate, espresso, caramel pecan cookies. They all smell amazing, trust me. And now Maya Matson, the Maya behind Maya's Cookies, joins me now to share the secret to her sweet success. So first of all, good morning, Maya. Hi, good morning. How does one transition from fitness model, personal trainer to, yeah, I'm just gonna make a bunch of cookies? Well, we personal trainers need our treats too. We're eating clean all week, and when it's our cheat day, we wanna indulge. And I basically couldn't find anything on the market, uh, being a vegan, that satisfied my sweet tooth. So I started making them myself. You bring up a good point because just because you're a fitness model or trainer, it doesn't mean you're not eating this stuff. You're just eating it in moderation. Exactly. We need our treats as well. A hundred percent. And here's the deal. You said you started this business in your kitchen and now you're what? Celebrating five years, which is amazing as a female female owned business. Absolutely. I started in my kitchen selling to my students in my spinning classes and <laughs> I had two kids in college at the time. I was faced with that double tuition, so I was looking for a way to supplement my income and I decided to go for it and turn my little kitchen business into a real business and here I am five years later. Maya, I have to say you are so smart because not only did you start this business, you were bringing it to your spin class. You give them a cookie, you're like, all right, see you tomorrow so you can work that cookie. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, it was, you know, job like security, I guess you could call it. I love it. So tell me um, some of the flavors that you have and really, you know, what it's been like this journey of owning this business. Well, I have about 20 or so flavors right now. We have about 10 that we always have, and then I bring in seasonal favorites. Right now, we have a new S'mores Galore collection. Our chocolate chip s'mores is one of our best sellers, so my youngest son said, Mom, you should do a collection where it's a lot of different kinds of s'mores. So right now, I have, this is our espresso white chocolate s'more. It's part of our collection. We have oatmeal chocolate chip s'more, we have marble fudge s'more, and classic. And we, I like to travel and try to find regional flavors that I can turn into a delicious vegan cookie. I just want to provide our plant-based community with something decadent and delicious that they can't find on the market with unique flavors such as white chocolate macadamia, uh, marble fudge, caramel pecan, which was inspired by my travels to New Orleans. Get out, so, Maya. You can't see me right now, but I just opened um, that espresso s'more one you mentioned, and I'm drooling. Oh, so delicious, I officially so. love you, but also hate you at the same time. <laughs> well, everyone needs a little caffeine boost in the morning, so this is a perfect breakfast item, if you ask me. Breakfast for dessert. Now, you've been successful, and you are doing your part to give back to the community. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Being a black owned business and female owned, I had my challenges from the beginning. So I made it a, it was important for me to give back and help other entrepreneurs, specifically black owned. So right now we're partnering up with North Park Beer Company. That's our latest collab. And we'll be doing a special beer and cookie pairing. And it's part of a um, national campaign that they have where 100% of the proceeds of this pairing are gonna go to two charities that are black child youth empowerment charities. So the first one's called Blue Heart and the other one is called Detour and they both mentor children. And it's a new beer that they will be having and it's called Black, it's beautiful, it's a stout and it's delicious. We have decided to pair a few cookies with that and that'll be available this weekend. So those are just some of the examples. I also like to give back by mentoring small businesses here in our community as well. And I started a round table, as a matter of fact, of plant-based Black-owned entrepreneurs where we can just have a round table, a space where we can meet over Zoom for now and share ideas, collaborations, resources, and just help each other out. Because I didn't have that when I was starting out. It was really difficult for me to find mentors or just other small businesses in the plant-based community and the African-American community that we can help each other out and navigate some of the paperwork and just all the challenges that we face having a small business, starting My nothing. Maya, you are amazing. Yeah, from your kitchen to owning a business, celebrating five years, mayascookies.com. Trust me, I took one little nibble and it's <laughs> delicious. Thank you for what you're doing. I am going to hoard all of these and I'll see you, you know, for personal training. <laughs> well, one last thing, we did create a coupon code for your viewers, oh. News 8. 
and it's 10% off. So send them to our website, mayascookies.com and news a all caps. And we'd love to see some of those orders come through. Maya, we buried the lead. News 8, go to mayascookies.com. Maya, congrats on your success. Small owned business, female owned, black owned. So good for you. Keep it going. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Maya. you for having me. Yep, Eric.